Inland Taipan. The Inland Taipan, also commonly known as the Western Taipan, the small-scaled snake or the fierce snake, is a species of extremely venomous snake in the family Lapidae. The species is endemic to semi-arid regions of Central East Australia. Aboriginal Australians living in those regions named the snake Dendirabilla. It was first described by Frederick McCoy in 1879 and then by William John McLean in 1882, but for the next 90 years it was a mystery to the scientific community, no further specimens were found, and virtually nothing was added to the knowledge of this species until its rediscovery in 1972. Based on the median lethal dose value in mice, the venom of the inland taipan is by far the most toxic of any snake, much more so than even that of sea snakes, and it has the most toxic venom of any reptile when tested on human heart cell culture. The inland taipan is a specialist hunter of mammals, so its venom is specially adapted to kill warm-blooded species. It is estimated that one bite possesses enough lethality to kill at least 100 fully grown humans. It is an extremely fast and agile snake that can strike instantly with extreme accuracy, often striking multiple times in the same attack, and it envenomates in almost every case. Although the most venomous and a capable striker, in contrast to the coastal taipan which many experts cite is an extremely dangerous snake due to its behavior when it encounters humans, the inland taipan is usually a quite shy and reclusive snake, with a placid disposition. And prefers to escape from trouble. However, it will defend itself and strike if provoked, mishandled, or prevented from escaping. Because it lives in such remote locations, the inland taipan seldom comes in contact with people. Therefore it is not considered the deadliest snake in the world overall, especially in terms of disposition and human deaths per year. The word fierce from its alternative name describes its venom, not its temperament. Description. The inland taipan is dark tan, ranging from a rich dark hue to a brownish light green, depending on season. Its back, sides and tail may be different shades of brown and gray, with many scales having a wide blackish edge. These dark marked scales occur in diagonal rows, so that the marks align to form broken chevrons of variable length that are inclined backward and downward. The lowermost lateral scales often have an anterior yellow edge. The dorsal scales are smooth and without keels. The round snouted head and neck are usually noticeably darker than the body, glossy black in winter, dark brown in summer, the darker color allowing the snake to heat itself while exposing only a smaller portion of the body at the burrow entrance. The eye is of average size with a blackish-brown iris and without a noticeable colored rim around the pupil. It has 23 rows of dorsal scales at mid-body, between 55 and 70 divided subcaudal scales, and one anal scale. The inland taipan averages approximately 1.8 meters in total length, although larger specimens can reach total lengths of 2.5 meters. Its fangs are between 3.5 and 6.2 millimeters long, shorter than those of the coastal taipan. Seasonal adaptation. Inland taipans adapt to their environment by changing the color of the skin during seasonal changes. They tend to become lighter during summer and darker during the winter. This seasonal color change serves the purpose of dermoregulation, allowing the snake to absorb more light in the colder months. Thanks for watching.